Ah, oh, I didn't see you there. My name's Jake. Today, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of one of Australia's most untouched national parks. This rugged landscape stretches as far as the eye can see, and with binoculars, even further. Thing is, you come out here real prepared, there's a high chance you'll get lost. See, we have to rescue people every year. That's why it's always important you come out here, have your map and your compass. <laughs> Looks like we have another suspect right over here. G'day mate, how you going? Well look mate, I've been better. Just can't seem to understand any of the features on this map. That's alright mate, that's what we're here for. Koj Koj Ah, National Park. Hmm. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is orientate your map. So at the top of the map, we always have north. We're going to spin our map around until the top of the map is facing north, as indicated by this compass. On most maps, you'll find a key. In this case, it's in the top right-hand corner. And this key tells us various features that you'll find on your map. So for starters, this key tells us that a red line is going to be a main paved road. A yellow line, such as this one here, or an orangey line, is going to be a four-wheel drive track. And a dotted black line, for example, this one here, is going to be a walking track. On your map, you're also going to find grid lines. Now these grid lines consist of longitudinal and latitudinal lines that divide your map into little squares. Each little square on this map, as you can see here, is representative of one kilometre. So let's just say we wanted to figure out how long it would take to walk on this walking track from Threadbow all the, all the way to the top Mount Kosciuszko. So we'd have our little piece of lamandra grass and we would lay it very carefully over the walking track and she's this long. Now we lay it down on our grid and as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kilometers long. The last thing you'll find on your map are contour lines. These are lines, such as these here, which help you gauge elevation. So around Round Mountain, you'll find various contour lines. Each line represents 20 metres. So here you'll see the altitude here is 1,400 metres above sea level. If we count up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 20 is 100. So we're going to go from 1400 to 1500 metres here. If we keep counting up to Round Mountain, we're going to have 1500, 1520, 1540, 1560, and we're going to finish off at 1582. Yeah, that's great, but uh, I'm still lost, eh? That's all right, mate. You'll just have to tune in next time for another episode of Wilderness Navigation. Until then, Time to hit the road.